new channel Live For Him. My name's Emily. And I'm Madison. And we're making this channel because we want to help you guys um, with all your struggles that you may be having at school or at work or even at church even. Um, we just felt really led to do this channel because God has kind of led us to do this just because her and I are actually going through similar to the same challenges and we want to help people who are going through the exact same or the similar challenges. Um, so if that, that interests you, subscribe to us. We'll be posting videos every week and give us a thumbs up. What we want to talk to you about today is the rear view mirror and kind of, I was actually sitting in a golf cart and I was driving around and I'm like rear view mirror and she's like yeah and I'm like no rear view mirror like like that would be good to talk about because then if you're if you're constantly looking in your rear view mirror when you're in your car you can't it's hard to go forward it's hard to keep your mind on where you're going where you're set where you're trying to go because if you're looking in your rear view mirror you're most likely going backwards right that's what you do so and so that being said um you know a lot of people tend to fixate on the past and let that dictate their future but you can't you can't sit and look at your rear view mirror or look back or look in your past and expect to go forward in your life and my dad once told me that hurting people hurt others so if people are there and they're hurting you and they're calling you names or they're being really rude to you it's most likely because they're hurting too and that's why you can't be rude back because then it just makes you just like they are and rude as they are and Jesus, you're not showing the love of Jesus by doing that so to be mature in Christ is whenever someone slanders you or hurts you you love them so you never hate you just love because it's easy just to hurt others back, but it's harder to love others back. You know that saying, kill them with kindness? That's like my motto. It works. Motto. It, it, it works. Really it's very work. hard. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Then it works. And you know, in John 16, 33, uh, Jesus actually makes it abundantly clear that we are going to have to endure suffering in our lifetime just because, I mean, without any kind of suffering or trouble, how is that going to strengthen us? So what would there be a need for for Jesus if we didn't have any struggles or anything like that? Exactly. So, that's what we wanted to share with you. I know it's really, really short and everything, but it's something to kind of ponder about and think about. That's so. how our videos are going to be every week. They're going to be very short because whenever I watch a YouTube video, I love just like the little short ones because I usually just click out of them if they're going to be longer than five right. minutes. So it's just a little leap of your day just to encourage you and see that we are going through the same struggles as you are. So. Yes. So we will be posting more videos hopefully this week or whatever, whatever we have time because we go to school. <laughs> so, thanks guys for watching. Bye!